Hello and welcome to a new video about, well, problem solving. Huh? We ran into some issues and I wanted to make a series of video on how to address this. Yeah? So best practice videos, let's call it. Yeah, what I found out and maybe you can place something in the comment section. What do you think about this solution? If you maybe have a better one. Video one about this series. Here, uh, encoder, reading an encoder with the interrupt. It was, yeah, it, it was something, yeah, it did something. However, yeah, I will yeah, upload this once again. Open the serial monitor. Here we are reading from encoder and if I'm turning here now the knob yeah, and clockwise, okay, ah, there was already one. Yeah, this was this bouncing, this bouncing of this, of this encoder and if I turn it fast, oh look here, a lot of, a lot of clockwise, a counterclockwise. Well, there are more, more clockwise, but there are also counterclockwise inside there. And if I turn faster, these counterclockwise are even getting more, yeah, because the bouncing increases. Also in the other direction, if I move to counterclockwise and if I turn faster, oh, this now looks pretty nice. Ah, here we are, sun. We did already some try to debounce this. Yeah? Remember this delay microseconds here. Yeah. Delay microseconds. This was already it. Yeah. Uh, so there might be, we will try this here afterwards as well. Yeah. So this is a, a bigger, a bigger encoder simply. We will remove the other one. However, this costs, I think, around 30, 25 euros or something like this. So this is, well, it's a solution. Maybe, I don't know. We will see afterwards. However, I also want to debounce this by software. I mean, it must work somehow. Yeah? So we'll save this under new name. B. Debounce, I will call it debounce. So actually what I'm going to try is, I mean, if we are really moving fast this stuff, yeah, or moving faster, then this happens more often. So the timing is, is the thing. So I'm going to save, I'm going to save uh, a variable when we were last moving. Okay, so I will use unsigned uh, debounce time huh? zero. I will define here variable debounce timeout and it shall be, I don't know, the beginning 500 milliseconds. Okay, and then I will also write a uh, pool last was clockwise. And last was counterclockwise. And in in setup or uh, in, in, in the loop, I will read if it's turned clockwise, okay, it turned clockwise, I will say last last was clockwise true. And if it turned counterclockwise, I will say 
last wa was counterclockwise true. So I remember what was the last turn direction. Okay. And I will set this timer here, this debounce time to the current To the current milliseconds okay so we now remember when it was yeah and then i will make this debounce time millis minus this debounce time so how many times how much this was afterwards if this is longer than the debounce timeout, then I will set both last was count clockwise and counterclockwise to false. Okay, so I only remember a half a second. Yeah? I only remember half a second, that's it. Uh, what I'm doing with this information here in, in my encoder routine. Yeah. Here I will say if last was clockwise. Yeah. So if in the last half second it was already clockwise, I will not. I will not say it's counterclockwise, I will say it's, it's clockwise again. Yeah? Because obviously then I'm turning fast because the impulses were within a half a second and I will say it's counterclockwise, it's clockwise. And here I do it exa exactly the other way around. So I simply ignore what I'm reading in. Yeah? If the last thing was clockwise, I will set clockwise again, even if the inputs say different, because then I'm probably moving in this direction. The only thing, I think this should work already, the only thing which is a little bit tricky is I'm moving right, left, right, left, right, left. Here the timing is crucial, uh, so I now going to try what happens with this 500 milliseconds. Let's try, let's upload this. Decode it. Open the serial monitor. Mm -hmm. Let's see, turning. Clockwise. Ooh. I can now even turn fast and this is simply counting up and if moving in the other direction counterclockwise. All right, and then moving left, right. Ooh, and here we have the problem. <laughs> Doesn't really matter in which direction it always doing counterclockwise. If I wait a half a second, uh, here we have the problem again, but in the other direction. Okay. So, this debounce time is simply too long, 500, let's make it 200, uh, within 200 milliseconds. Let's see if this is now working better. Going up, still looking good, going down, still looking good, left, right, left. I'm really moving it fast and it's ah, still still I'm able to do this so let's try 100 no it's balancing it's balancing it's balancing going up going down looking good and now left. Uh, 
So I'm making it too fast, okay, it's still there. Oh, see, maybe it's still working with 50. Why not? Why shouldn't I try it? What? There is no reason. <laughs> no, it's really good. Cool. Looking good. Ah, there we had again some counterclockwise. <sighs> yeah, but it's looking much better. So we'll use simply 75. <laughs> good, good. So this really debounced it. Okay, so this is the trick now. Uh, ignore what we read in. Ignore what we read in and make what we think is right. Uh, use the timing. So remember what was turned last and only remember it for an appropriate time and don't move in that other direction within this time. All right? Good. Uh, now I will try this other encoder and see if this is working better. All right? Do this. This is a real big one. Huh? Let's see how this is performing. Okay. Well, I expect with the debouncing in place, this should really work much better also. Uh, it's working the other direction. Good. Okay, this feels already different. Yeah, you know, and this this here is some a little tiny money, and this is money. Not that much, but I like it. I like it. Let's see if I open the the last one, uh, the last program. Maybe I will upload this now. Is this also working? Ah, huh? here we are some. Okay, so also here we have, without the bouncing mechanism, even here we have an issue, but it's much better, much better, eh? only sometimes. So this debouncing is not a bad idea in any case. Yeah. So this is my solution of debouncing.
stuff. Remember what was last, but only for some microseconds. I think it's a nice solution. Yeah? Let me know what you think. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.